Russian River County Sanitation District. And in, uh, this plant was like constructed in around 1980, and uh, it was under the operation of the Sonoma County Public Works Department. And then around in 1995, uh, there was a reorganization with uh, Sonoma County, and the Sonoma County Water Agency took over operation of all of the wastewater treatment plants that uh, uh, Public Works formerly operated. The average dry weather flow of like 0.71 million gallons per day, and like in summertime, the average flow is probably like 0.35. So uh, the flow could technically like double or something. But the restriction on this plant is the uh, irrigation capacity. It has a a permitted irrigation capacity of 0.51 million gallons per day, and so that's what limits the flow coming into the plant. So we irrigate uh, these redwood trees on the other side of that pond there. That area there we call lower irrigation. There's a uh, on the top of the hill. There's some uh, smaller irrigation areas that's called upper irrigation. Uh, that's this hill here. Uh, yeah, wait. You know, way back on the top, like the top of that back hill, you know, like yeah. up toward the left. Look on Google Map, I believe it's called Neely Mountain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where it goes back down, that was originally constructed as a spare pipeline in case there was a additional flow that comes into the plant. That's where it would uh, tie in. And what we're using it for is uh, right now to be able to construct this project here, and they're trying to recoat this. Uh, Influent line coming in in the headworks and what's called the area to grid chamber that we'll look at when we get further down there. Because it's combining with what's called the return activated sludge line. So you can see this is like as close to 15 feet deep. Okay. You can see this is going over here that's uh, out of service, and this is a yeah. uh, yeah, pipe coming down with the right. air, and there's a little uh, grate on the bottom that helps uh, spread out the air for get more bugs to interact with the air. And point four in this pond is like 0.5 million gallons, so it's like a little over a day in here. And then it's on the bottom here are uh, transfer pumps. The pump This has a sweeter. Isn't that amazing? From there to here. I know. I know. Mixed liquor dumps into the clarifier and it kind of disperses throughout the uh, clarifier and these uh, it's it's settling as it's spreading out and these uh, mechanisms turn activated sludge. That's the starts from the bottom of the clarifier. It uh, comes out this uh, pipe over here. We have these pumps to be able to control the flow. So here, we're going for maintenance, like I say. And the boys climbed in actually and they, they did enter. Yeah. That's a couple fins they tore That's about it. So this is the uh, clarifier that was built as part of the what's called the third unit process project. It's a uh, 60 foot diameter uh, clarifier. And the other two are uh, 40 foot diameter clarifiers. And the smaller ones are 12 feet deep. Uh, this one's 15 feet deep. Uh, get the water to come out of the well and leave the towel behind. So if you look at the towel, you can see all the water coming up down here. And by the time they get this, uh, when you get this towel, the water is coming out of the wall. And that's just the opposite of this towel. It's called the gravity towel. It's just the water is coming out.
way that I help explain the position of the kingdom of secondary Uh, the process of weaving its way through this uh, tank, it becomes disinfected and then dechlorinated using uh, sulfur dioxide. We use chlorine gas for the disinfection and from here it goes out to that holding pond. You can see the water flowing into that pond. The image of it is it kind of keeps a barrier uh, against the mosquitoes being able to lay their... But, uh, he would, yeah, mild